day kids, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing the different methods of adding and subtracting fractions, specifically dissimilar fractions. Addition and subtraction are two basic arithmetic operations that are also applicable to fractions. In order to add and subtract fractions easily, it is necessary to understand whether the fractions have the same or different denominators, since we follow different steps in each case. Add or subtract numerators only while the denominator will remain the same. This is the general rule in adding and subtracting fractions. This is applicable only if the fractions have the same denominator. Those fractions which have the same denominators are called like fraction. Those fractions that have different denominators, there are three methods to make their denominators the same before applying the general rule. These methods are the following. The grid method. The grid method is applicable only for two fractions at a time. This method uses rows and columns to represent the denominators. The combination of the rows and columns will represent the new denominator, and the sum of the numerators will be the new numerator. Let us add the fractions 1 fifth and 1 third. The denominators are 5 and 3. You need to make five columns and three rows to represent the denominators. The result would make 15 boxes. This is the same as multiplying the two denominators. To represent the one-fifth fraction, fill the first column with vertical lines. To represent the one-third fraction, fill the first row with horizontal lines. After filling with horizontal and vertical lines, the result will be seen. For boxes with both horizontal and vertical lines, move the horizontal lines to an empty box. Now the boxes that are filled with horizontal or vertical lines represent the sum and will become the new numerator. The total boxes will represent the new denominator. So by counting the boxes below, the answer of 1 fifth plus 1 third will be 8 fifteenth. Now to subtract, minus one half part from three fifths, the fraction three fifths can be shown using three rows colored pink among five rows shown. Similarly, the fraction one half which is represented vertically will have one column shaded out of two columns. We can represent the difference of both the fractions using this image by moving the shaded portion on the colored part. Now the boxes that are only filled with color pink represent the difference and will become the new numerator and the total boxes will represent the new denominator. Thus, the answer is 1 tenth. Cross multiply or butterfly method. This method is very easy method because you just have to cross multiply. You will multiply the first numerator to the second denominator and second numerator to the first denominator. The results will be the new numerators. For the denominator, you will multiply the first denominator to the second denominator. The result will be their new denominator. Now add the numerator. 3 plus 5 is 8. For the final answer, simplify if needed. This process can also apply to the subtraction of fractions. The third method is LCD method also known as least common denominator. Example 1 fifth plus 1 third. List all the multiples of each denominator. Find the smallest or the least multiple that is common to all denominators. This is the least common multiple or LCM. To know more about LCM, you can watch my other video about it. Use the LCM to make like fractions. 
divide the LCM to the denominator and multiply the answer by the numerator. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. The result will be the new numerators and the denominator will be the LCM. The LCM is now your LCD, then add 3 15th plus 5 15th is 8 15th. This process is the same as when we are subtracting fractions. There you have it, I hope you learned something today. If you like our discussion, click like and subscribe. Thank you, and see you again next time.